Okay, well this video addresses the issue of the Hydroflame Atwood 8525 electrode or igniter. Um, I replaced my circuit board the other day after having it tested and found out that it was a bad circuit board. However, that didn't make my furnace work. So, next in line would be the igniter. Um, I have the gas valve kicking on, and in fact, if I hold a lighter up to the exhaust here, when the gas valve kicks on, it will ignite the flames inside the burner. Um, but without doing that, I'm not getting ignition. So, I'm going to say that my next problem is going to be my igniter. Now, if it's not, then... I guess you've got a video on how to replace the igniter, and I still need to replace something else. So, anyways, we'll start here. First thing you do, you got to get this out of the way so you can start to access things. This is your exhaust, and if you want to do this wing nut here, simply getting that wing nut out of the way. will allow you to pull, well, at least I thought it would, it did last time, oh, there we go, okay, <clears throat> allow you to pull that out of the way, it was just a little wedged in there a little tight I guess, okay, now, let's go over here, I'm going to got to do shut your gas off I'm only shutting one tank off because I've only got gas in one tank so come back over here now and now having gotten the exhaust pipe out of the way and the gas shut off we can access this nut and connect our gas and throw wrenches at ourselves and that was almost a bad throw okay about the simplest way is just about to do it with a wrench because that's pretty darn tight I'm sorry, I wish I could fast forward this, but I don't know how to do that. So you get to watch me turn the nut, turn the nut. But, get that out of the way. You're uh, not too far from being done with it. So, so far, tools you need is a crescent wrench and I recommend a, a uh, pair of channel locks too when you go to put that back on you don't want to try to crank that nut too tight you want to back up this nut here with another wrench and channel locks seem to work good for that okay uh, drill with an extension because you've got some screws back in there that aren't easy to reach take this one here off and it's good to have a tarp underneath you so you can catch all your screws. Now back inside here, there are a couple screws. One down low. One up a little higher. There are some other screws, but they don't come out. These are all part of the, uh, oh, part of the gas valve assembly. And then back here in the back, you'll see this one. It's actually part of the uh, side of the fan assembly. So now with those three screws out, well, four screws and the wing nut, we can shift this thing around and pull it out. Now the one problem that I had when I took this out before, yeah, this is my second time, um, is the... Uh, the gas valve 
the nut for the gas kind of gets in the way so stick a screwdriver in there and pry it off to the side while you're pulling it out now this orange wire here goes to your igniter go ahead before you get too far in and let's disconnect a couple of wires and take the red one off of here okay and then the uh, igniter itself I may have to use two. Oh, no, I only have to use one hand. Okay. The igniter wire. I can pull that up through here. Okay. Now, slide that out as far as I can. Now I've got to stick that screwdriver in there and get that nut out of the way almost there ah there we go okay There's one more wire this one goes up to the igniter also right here the black one so with that done you've got your igniter assembly burner assembly all exposed but you can't get it out of there that easy. But it's not hard. Sure not. I'm gonna pull out two screws. One and uh, two. And with that, that allows you to Oops. Okay, I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'm going to take this whole gas valve off of the assembly. I was just getting hung up right over here in the back. There. I'll take those other two screws out, and then that allows you to slide the gas valve out of the way. And then, there's your two screws for your igniter. Sorry it's not a real professional video, but if it helps you, hopefully you can overlook the uh, unprofessionalness of it. <clears throat> so, there's a kit that I saw um, which uh, sold this burner assembly and the igniter for about 20 bucks. Um, I've also seen them with just the igniter for 20 so, not a real expensive replacement, but uh, that's how it's done. And then just reverse the process to put it all back together. Good luck.